हेलो एवरीवन आई एम पूजा पाटिल माय टॉपिक फॉर प्रेजेंटेशन इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड कंप्यूटिंग सिस्टम मॉडल्स लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इज हियर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन डिफरेंट मॉडल्स ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सिस्टम सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड कंप्यूटिंग सिस्टम द इंटरकनेक्शन ऑफ डिफरेंट कंप्यूटर्स और सिस्टम्स बाय यूजिंग कम्युनिकेशन नेटवर्क फॉर रिसोर्स शेयरिंग इज नोन एज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड computing system resources are maybe hardware resources or software resources so various models are used for building distributed computing system these models can be broadly classified into five categories as mini computer model workstation model workstation server model processor pool model and hybrid model so let's see one by one first one is mini computer model it is simple extension to centralized time sharing system it consists of few mini computers interconnected by communication network we can see here four mini computers are connected through the communication network mini computer has multiple users log on to it simultaneously several interactive terminals are connected to the mini computer each user is log on to one specific mini computer with remote access to other mini computers network allow users to access remote resources to do so user must log on his or her home mini computer thereafter he or she can log on a remote machine by telnet here several terminals are attached to the mini computer applications of mini computer model first and the most important application of this model is resource sharing such as information databases second one is early arp net second model is workstation model it consists of several workstations interconnected by a communication network idea of this model is to interconnect all the workstation by a high speed lan so that ideal workstation may be used to process job of the users who do not have sufficient processing power here we can see several workstations are connected through the communication network each workstation is a single user here process migration can be take place which is the main advantage of workstation model so what is process migration suppose one node is overloaded or it is not having sufficient processing power at that time that work should be migrated to another workstation having higher processing capability for this user first log on his or her personal workstation and if there are ideal remote workstations a heavy job may migrate to one of them but there are some issues faced by this model first one is how does the system find an ideal workstation second issue is how is a process transferred from one workstation to get it executed on another workstation third issue what happened to a remote process if a user logs on to a workstation that was ideal until now and was being used to execute a process of another workstation to resolve these issues some approaches are used first approach is sharing of resources between remote process and local process second one kill the remote process third one migrate the remote process back to its workstation known as preemptive process migration examples of workstation model the sprite system and xerox park fourth third model is workstation server model it is a network of personal workstations each with own disk and local file system consist of few mini computers and several workstation interconnected by a communication network we can see this is a workstation server model where few workstations and mini computers are connected through the communication network some are disk full workstations and some are disk less workstations so what is disk full and disk less workstation workstation with own disk is known as disk full workstation and workstation without a local disk is known as disk less workstation there are specialized machine for learning server processes called servers for managing and providing access to shared resources here we can see there are three different servers as file server database server and print server these servers provide different kind of services to the workstation as per their requirement 
workstations are the clients most are displays and few are discool graphic or interactive application proceed in local but all file print http and even cycle computation request are sent to the servers each mini computer is dedicated to one or more different type of services client server model of communication first rpc remote procedure call second one is rmi that is remote method invocation third is a client process calls a server process function fourth one no process migration is invoked advantages of workstation server model over workstation model it is much cheaper second backup and hardware maintenance are easier third user have flexibility to use any workstation and access the file in same manner fourth this model does not need a process migration facility which is difficult to implicate implement as we see in workstation model there is process migration facility but in this workstation server model there is no process migration so we don't have to implement it you last one user has guaranteed response time example of workstation server model is v system fourth model is processor pool model most of the time user does not need any computing power in the processor pool model the processes are pooled together to be shared by the users as needed the pool of processors consists of a large number of micro computers and mini computers attached in the network each processor in pool has its own memory to load and run a system program processors in pool have no terminals attached directly user access system from terminals attached to network via special devices a special server called run server manages and allocates the processor in the pool to different users on a demand basis in processor pool model there is no concept of a home machine This is a processor pool model in which several terminals and run servers are connected through the communication network. Client can log in any one of the terminals which are displays workstations or X terminals. All services are dispatched to the servers. On server side, necessary number of processors are allocated to each user from the pool of processors. advantages of processor pool model first better utilization of the available processing power of a distributed computing system second entire processing power of the system is available for use by the currently logged in users third processor pool model provides better flexibility than the workstation server model but there are some disadvantages of processor pool model that is it is unsuitable for high performance interactive application and slow speed of communication in computer and terminals examples of processor pool models are amoeba plant 9 and cambridge distributed system last model is hybrid model workstation server model is the most widely used model it is ideal for simple uses like editing jobs sending emails and executing small programs but for massive computation processor pool model is used so the hybrid model is the combination of workstation server model and processor pool model hybrid model gives guaranteed response to interactive jobs the processor in the pool are allocated dynamically for large computation that are too large for workstation but hybrid model is more expensive to implement so that's all about distributed computing system models i hope this is helpful to you guys thank you so much